Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about AEM style system. Let's have a scenario. Let's say I have a component and I need a different background color and text color on a different page. So how it generally achieved? We add a drop down in dialog and the drop down has different styles. So on a particular page, we choose a particular style. But this is not a standard solution. Any project can have a different implementation. Tomorrow, another project can have uh, checkboxes instead of drop down. So it's based on project to project. Let's say tomorrow I have to add two more styles. So you have to update your dialog. So to achieve this, AEM came up with a solution called style system. So using style system or with the help of style system, you can define classes in your component policy and the page policy. These classes can be choose later by your content authors and based on those selection, a different style can be applied. Obviously, the styling should be written in your client library means your CSS and JavaScript should be written already in client library. So how it works? First, you should have client library. It is as usual. We already have client library. All the CSS and JavaScript should be written. Then you define the classes means or the selectors in your page policy or component policy as per need. Later on, while authoring, your content author can choose those styles or classes with the component at a particular instance. Based on that, the style will load. So the first two sections are part of your development and the Third one is part of your authoring. The second part is a continuous process. Any content author or the person which having a permission to the templates can add the styles, means to the content policy and page policy. So before we move on to demo, let's understand two terms, template author and content author. So if you read the proper uh, AEM documentation about style system, you'll find these two terms. These are nothing, just two groups which have the different permissions. So this is not related to the concept. So we'll talk about the concepts only. And these are just a component group. This is just means user groups, not component group. These are just to mention two different users. So as part of demo, what we'll see, we'll see the background color, we'll change the background color or we'll set the background color of the pages, which is created using a particular template. And on top of that, this is my page. So I added a layout container and I'll add a different style to layout container. So for that, first of all, you should have written your stylings. So I have already written a client library. I already explained how to write a client library and how to add your styling files, means CSS and JavaScript in that client library. So I'll use the same client library in this demo. So I have two files, color, which give you the background color. I just wrote a simple classes, no hierarchy, no selection, okay? So the orange for the background orange and for the background red. The class name is geeks hyphen orange and geeks hyphen red. Another file is which actually says container hyphen orange. This is just to add the background of a container and some text as well. So if you have text inside it. So this client library contain this code, okay? This styling code. Now, if you want to add something at page level, go to your template, open your page policy, okay? Open page policy, you'll find a second tab called styling okay so i added this client library using this drop down right i have already explained in last tutorial go to the style and add your allowed style so what you'll do first thing is your group right okay? let's say the background color you will understand right background color now the group name is background color so now you have to add style so what i'll say the red color background red or something let's say geeks red Okay, geeks red. Now inside CSS class, you should add your class name. Okay, so if you see my red color, so I'll add this class. Okay, here. Okay, now one style has been added. Now let me add one more. What is the name? Uh, orange. Okay, so let's add geeks orange. Okay, and add the same class here geeks orange. Now just save it. Done. You will notice here before I refresh this, just notice here, there are three icons only. 
right three icons if i refresh it now you will find a fourth icon called style icon right as soon as you add a this here inside the policy which i already added i showed you you will find this icon so if you click on this icon you will see a drop down or say a combo box right whatever the group name we added that is here background color and you have two options so these are available if i add now let me choose this okay and save it so see the background has been added so what happened as soon as I chose that this class has been applied on my page so where it is added basically this class has been added in your body right if i go to the page let me refresh this okay and if i inspect this you will find you see the class right so geeks hyphen red has been added right so if i go back again and if i to change it let me add orange and save it right so this orange has been added now orange or yellow whatever the color i added there so that way you can define let's say you want to add some more styling so what you'll do you'll come back here in policies and you add your own styles other styles let's say you want to have text so you can add one more group here and add those styles right so that way how you can do it now if i want to add some styles i'm um, style to the component so what what i'll do let me remove this first to show you okay remove it and save it if you remove obviously that class will be removed now let's say i want to add some style to my container so what you will have let me go to the container so come to your container and see container open this policy this component policy content so now you don't see any policy added here so you can use any existing policy or you can create your own new policy so let me add a new policy here let's say uh, container okay new policy so i am adding a policy called style container and i have added that so just open it again okay and come back here you have to add allow component as well because you this is a container and you have to uh, add component to that but you know how to do that so let's come here and same thing right same thing let's say background color okay background color and i'll add two uh, color as i added earlier so you will see i added two and i save it the, this is group name is background color i save it if i come to the page and i refresh it inside this container you will see a icon here earlier you won't see this right if you don't add there you won't see this now let me add this right you see the container orange if i add this now see the background color has been added now and same way you can change it you can select your class here right okay let's see one more thing if i open it and if i want to choose both classes right i won't be able to select both there are number of scenarios where you want to add multiple classes multiple classes from the same group so if i try to choose it here i won't be able to do it even i select command or something right so what happened if you go back here and let me open again that policy come here you will find a, a checkbox called styles can be combined so if you check this now you will be able to select multiple uh, classes or multiple styles here so using this you can add a ability to add multiple classes you can add any number of the groups it's not mandatory let me have the text color like right? text color and let me add two classes inside the text color group so i added two styles to the this the different group but the same component remember don't forget to allow component because you are adding a new policy now and in new policy you did not allowed component so wherever you use this layout container that policy you are using that should have allowed component okay so let me allow some component here okay i allow the v retail only so v retail v retail and let's say the v retail all the v retail right save it now if i go to this 
page again and if I see this component this should have different group see this one group is this another group is this now this has and I should be able to choose both now you see this both obviously because both are setting the color so you won't see uh, both colors you will able to see only one color but now you are able to choose both styles because of that button okay now if I choose this also and if I save let me remove this now so if I save now okay and let me go here All right, let me go and the styles because I did not write anything. That's why this, this container is not available. So, so I added a, a title inside this container and now you are able to see the container. And if you check now, what are the classes added? So let me choose this parent and you will see here. This is the parent. You will see the container hyphen yellow container text blue both classes has been added now so based on this selector you already have written your css and the css will load so now how it is useful let's say tomorrow you have two more styles right so your front end developer can write the classes or the css whatever you need and you can come here in either the page policy or component policy as per your need you can add your custom styles and now as soon as you add it those are available to your content author to add it in your page. So this is how the style system works. This is pretty straightforward and simple. If still you have any question, please add your comment. Thank you.